Hi, do you want to know what is the most reliable VPN? Then watch this short video to the end. In it, I will tell you about my favorite service in the best VPN category. It's a high-quality VPN that exceeded my expectations on everything from platform and privacy support to ease of use, unblocking capabilities, and great support. I will tell you a few useful life hacks that you may find useful. Do not forget to subscribe and like the channel. Take a good look at the screen. Let's start. Ultra VPN is a VPN brand operated by Network Connect. The service has a very common set of features, apps for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android, open VPN support with AES-256 encryption, an emergency switch to block your internet connection in the event of a VPN card and a claimed zero logging policy. The Ultra VPN network is a decent size with over 100 locations located in over 60 countries. Most servers also support P2P, which is a nice plus. Ultra VPN doesn't say anything about who owns or operates the network, but we noticed that it uses Windscribe's servers. Support options are more varied than usual with communication methods including telephone, email and live chat. Ultra VPN doesn't seem to be the most active provider. There are only 12 posts on the news page of the site, all for some reason are dated October 8, 2018. It has links to Ultra VPN's Twitter and Facebook pages, or so it looked, but when I clicked on them, no account existed and no more. I've never punished a provider for not having a social media presence, but if you have accounts, close them and forget to remove links, it looks seriously unprofessional. Ultra VPN pricing is a little tricky and more expensive than many. Monthly plans are $6.99 for the first term, $8.99 on renewal. That amount drops to $4.99 per month if you pay 6 months in advance, but then rises to $9.98 on renewal, which is more expensive than the monthly plan. And you'll pay at least $2.99 per month for the first year of the annual plan, although this amount is growing, up to $7.50 on renewal. Worse, it only gives you support for connecting up to three devices. You can upgrade to unlimited device support for $2.92 per month for the first year and then grows to $5.83. By year two, that means you can pay $13.33 a month on an annual plan to cover unlimited devices. In the meantime, jump straight to Windscribe and the company protects unlimited devices for $4.08 per month with their annual plan. This is not an initial price that will double in a year, this is a standard deal. The Ultra VPN website claims that the service has a zero logging policy, stating that we do not monitor your online activity, so your browsing habits remain completely anonymous. It's a good start, but it doesn't rule out all types of logging and we really wanted to investigate further. I usually expect to find more information in the provider's privacy policy, but Ultra VPN's fine print is mostly about website usage and account management and doesn't have clear links to VPN. I actually found a little more information on the support page. This explains that there is no monitoring of internet searches or websites, but the service will record the IP address of your device and track the amount of traffic you pass through the Ultra VPN servers. I would like to know much more about this. For example, does Ultra VPN only log general numbers or does it record information per session with time, date and incoming and outgoing IP addresses? The company needs to detail its procedures. The Ultra VPN client for Windows is well designed with a clean and familiar interface. The main console displays your chosen locations and you can select other locations from a simple list. There is a large connect disconnect button that protects you on demand and there are a few handy configuration options tucked away. There is no best or automatic selection in the client location list to access the nearest server, unfortunately, and there is no favorite system to speed up reconnection to the most frequently used locations. However, the server list allows you to select either countries or locations within them. It also highlights servers that specialize in video streaming. Choose a location and desktop notifications will clarify what the client is doing and when you do connect. The client interface is updated to indicate its status and reflect your new IP address. There are several useful options in the settings dialog, including the ability to load the client when Windows starts, automatically connect to the best or latest connection, and turn on a firewall that automatically blocks your internet. 
You can now also choose between IKE version 2, OpenVPN, TCP or UDP, which is a welcome improvement. But Ultra VPN still can't match the functionality of the best VPN clients. For example, there are no DNS options, no hidden protocols, no leaking protection, and you can forget about advanced features like automatic connection every time you access an insecure network. There are just the basics. However, what you get works well. When I force a VPN connection, for example, the client quickly detects the problem and reconnects, while the failover switch successfully blocks all other traffic. And while I did my best to break it, such as connecting, then terminating and restarting the client process, I still handled the situation well and established a working connection within a few seconds. The Ultra VPN Android app is very similar in appearance to the desktop app, but with fewer features and two annoying issues. For example, the app doesn't seem to understand the email address and has informed us that my address is not valid. Yes, it does, which is probably why the website accepted it when I created the account. However, it is inconvenient if you want to use this form of address. The Ultra VPN web console provides a way to create OpenVPN and IKE version 2 profiles that can allow manual configuration of the service on other platforms, including routers. But this is far from easy and there is a very little documentation on the site to help you figure it out. UltraVPN doesn't just promise to help you stream content that is normally available in your country. Its apps make this easy, including dedicated UltraFlix locations in the UK, US, Canada and Japan. They worked great and I easily got access to BBC iPlayer. Good news as it was blocked last time and I did better with American Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and Disney+. Plus. It is clear that Ultra VPN can provide high speeds, but even more than usual, this will depend on your location and the servers you choose. If you sign up, run speed tests at multiple locations to see which works best for you. 